Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach from electricalexamcoach.com. Today we're going to be diving into lesson 5.1 and it's called the optional method for load calculations. When I hear the word optional, I think either or, but this is actually a whole nother method for doing load calculations and its name just happens to be the optional method. Everything I've taught you up until this point is called the standard method. In the absence of a method listed on your test, you're always going to default to the standard method. And thankfully, you'll never get an optional method question unless it states the word using the optional method. It's so important that we know that. We're going to find all these rules laid out in 220.82. Specifically, we're going to be focusing in part B. It's very simple. It took me about six videos to teach you how to do the standard method. It's only going to take me one to teach you the optional method. We're still going to do our three VAs per square foot and our 4,500 VAs for our two small appliance and one laundry. Then we're going to take that and take the nameplate of all appliances and we're going to apply one demand factor. Then that's going to give us our new reduced load. Now all we have left to do is total our HVAC. We're going to take the larger of the heating or cooling. We add that back to that reduced load from above and we're gonna have our total connected load. It's that simple. We're gonna take it one piece at a time and then we're gonna put all the pieces together. Let's get to it. The optional calculations that we're about to learn apply only to a single family dwelling unit. The optional method for a multifamily dwelling unit is very similar, just uses different tables and different demand factors in a little bit different way and we'll learn all about that a little bit later in the program. Step one with any load calculation, whether standard or optional, is to get our general lighting demand. We're going to do our square foot VAs just like we did before. We take our square foot. Let's imagine we have a 1,600 square foot house. We multiply that by three VAs per square foot. That gives us 4,800. Now we need to tack on our 4,500 for our two small appliance and one laundry, just like we did before. Now we total them all up. The only difference is, is that we do not apply any demand factors at this point. We're going to apply a general demand factor later. How many VAs would you calculate for a single family dwelling that has the following appliances? A 4200 VA main water heater, a 3500 VA additional water heater for the basement, a 1000 VA disposal, and an 1100 VA dishwasher. First thing we're going to do is we're going to find the total connected load. With the optional method, we're going to take the nameplate rating of all these appliances. Now, let's check for demand factors. There are no demand factors yet at this portion of the calculation. All we're going to do is total up all these appliances, and then we'll apply one general demand factor here in just a little bit. And we select B. Great job. How many VAs would you calculate for a 4800 watt dryer in a dwelling unit using the optional method? First, we're going to find our total connected load. With the optional method, we're going to use the nameplate rating of all of our appliances. We check for demand factors, and there are no demand factors yet at this portion of the process, and we select C. How many VAs would you calculate for a 15 kW range in a dwelling unit using the optional method? First, find our total connected load. We're going to use the nameplate of all appliances. Now let's check for demand factors. No demand factor applied yet, and the answer would be 15,000. Now that we've learned to take our three VAs per square foot and our 4,500, and then to take the nameplate of all the appliances, let's learn how to apply the demand factor to this portion of the calculation. It's super simple. You just total all that up and then apply one general demand factor. Let's get to it. Let's imagine we have this imaginary load of 328 of general lighting and appliances. Step one, we're going to take 10,000 and set it to the side. Then we take that remainder at 40%. Then we can't forget to add back the 10,000. And we end up with 19,120. It's that simple. Then all we have to do from there is calculate the heating, like we're getting ready to learn, heating and cooling. We're going to choose the larger of the two. And then we total those two numbers together, and that's our whole home load calc. With the heating and cooling optional method, we still will choose the larger of any two of the heating and cooling listed in 220.82c. It's very simple. If you get an optional method whole house or an optional method heating or cooling, you just go down and read the prescription for each part. 
There are six different parts. It tells you what to do. It's very simple and easy to understand. And then once you've calculated the heating and the cooling, you just select the larger of the two. What is the total VA demand you would calculate for a 1600 square foot home with the following loads using the optional method? I want you to take a minute and write all these down. That way you can follow along as I go through each screen. It's very similar to our standard method question. It's just gonna go a whole lot smoother and a whole lot quicker. Step one with any load calculation, whether standard or optional, is to get our general lighting demand. We're gonna do our square foot VAs just like we did before. We take our square foot, let's imagine we have a 1600 square foot house. We multiply that by three VAs per square foot. That gives us 4,800. Now we need to tack on our 4,500 for our two small appliances and one laundry, just like we did before. Now we total them all up. The only difference is, is that we do not apply any demand factors at this point. We're going to apply a general demand factor later. Now that we've got our general, all we have to do is find the nameplate rating of all of our appliances. We have them listed out here. We total them together, and that equals 21,300 VAs. Total those two together, and now we're ready to apply our demand factor to this portion of the load calculation. We take our first 10,000 at 100%. We take the remainder at 40%, and we can't forget to add them back together. Now let's go do our HVAC. Now that we have our new reduced load, let's add in our HVAC. We're gonna select the larger of the heating or cooling. We work all the math out, and clearly the heat is much larger. We're gonna take and add that to the party. After we do, we're going to have a total connected load of 28,240 VAs. Great job. All right, y'all, that's it for this lesson. You can head over to electricalexamcoach.com to unlock the pro version and the unlimited testing center. We also offer our full program on USB drive and DVD, so you can watch it offline and without commercials virtually anywhere. It also includes the MP3 files of all the lessons, so if you just want to listen to them as you drive down the road or while you're on the job site, you can do that. You can check out all that in the link in the description below. Most importantly, I want you to know that I offer 100% free coaching in life and in business. Just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. I just want to see you guys win. Let's get to it.